با درود و سلام خدمت شما دوستان گرامی امروز در برنامه افتتاح کمپاین یکی از کاندیدای حزب کارگر استرالیا برای انتخابات ایالتی ویکتوریا شرکت کردیم که در آن وزیر مهاجرت استرالیا و همچنان آقای جولین هیل نماینده پارلمان نیز شرکت کرده بودند فرصت آن را پیدا کردیم که در حاشیه این برنامه با آقای اندرو جایز وزیر مهاجرت استرالیا نیز از نزدیک صحبت کنیم و مشکلات مهاجرین را با آنها شریک سازیم. همچنان در این دیدار در مورد حمله اخیری که بالای مرکز آموزشی کاج صورت گرفته نیز صحبت کردیم. سپس آقای اندرو جایز وزیر مهاجرت استرالیا تایی سخنانی گفتند که به مشکلات مردم رسیدگی خواهد کرد که توجه شما را به قسمتی از سخنان ایشان جلب میکنم. So I just want to make a few very brief remarks. Um, firstly, I'll be indulgent and say that four months into the Albanese Labor government, the work that I'm connected to, I feel, is starting to make a difference. We are unravelling nine years of neglect and too often cruelty when it comes to the immigration portfolio. We're getting visas moving. We are expanding our permanent intake and we are making it clearer and easier for people who are in Australia to become permanent residencies and we are dealing with the awful, cruel backlog that's denied too many people, including too many in this community, their pathway to citizenship for too long. We're getting on with that job. We're also recognising the potential of our country, not in denial about it. We are, as Julian said, more eloquently than I do. Uh, than I will. A country that shares our first people and the rest of us who are migrants. We have people from all around the world. In Julian's electorate, the most diverse electorate in Australia, we see the potential of our multicultural society. But that's a potential that will only be realised if governments of every level enable every member of our community to belong everywhere, including in the parliament, and I'll come back to that in a minute. So this is important work that I've had the privilege of being connected to. It's hopefully a taste of a government federally that is getting on with the job. A government that is determined in terms of our call over values not to allow anyone to be left behind as our economy grows, but also that will deny no one the opportunity to fulfil their potential, including making an economic contribution. And When I think about Malik, your story, I think that is the story here. It's the story of this community, a community which is rich in aspiration, aspiration which has too often been held back, held back sometimes by invisible barriers, held back too often by very visible barriers. The work of the Andrews government today has been dismantling those barriers. The work of the next Andrews government will be realising the full potential of this community. And it's a community that, that has been rapidly changing, as people here know much better than me. But I think we need to just pause for a moment and think about the contribution of the current member. I know the seat's been slightly changed in redistribution to that journey. And I'm, I'm glad that someone mentioned his name because, frankly, I'd forgotten. <laughs> and it was amazing because he thought he could be the leader of the Liberal Party only months ago, this bloke. This bloke who has been anonymous for a lengthy career in public life and where he has um, gathered deadlines, it's been in the current Liberal playbook all about divisive cultural wars, not about making a constructive contribution to public debate, more just standing up for the community he should be working through. The contrast between this bloke, I believe his name is Brad, 